Today we're going to be checking out some of Jurassic World's most popular dinosaur figures and we're going to be standing them side by side from biggest to smallest right over here. And we're going to get started with the largest ones, the first of which is this giant Indominus Rex figure. This figure is probably almost two feet from the tip of its nose to its tail and it stands over a foot tall and it's got huge arms compared to T-Rex figures and it's got some awesome detailing along the back as well. Let's put this one right on the far corner. The next biggest figure in this collection is this Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. This figure is a little bit bigger than a lot of my other T-Rex figures and it has a ton more detailing on its body. Plus, they made this figure way more adjustable. It has three points of articulation in its torso and its neck, two points of articulation in its tail, can even bend the elbows, and it's just really cool and realistic looking. So let's put this next to the Indominus Rex figure. Let's see, next up is probably this Jurassic World Dominion Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. It looks a lot different compared to the Hammond collection. It's a lot darker. This one has marbled eyes. This one has painted yellow eyes. And on this T-Rex figure, its head is ginormous compared to a lot of the other T-Rex figures. And of course, it's got an action button on its tail for the chomping and roaring too. Let's put this right next in line. See now, the Hammond Collection T-Rex is a bit bigger than this normal Dominion T-Rex in terms of height, but this one does have a much larger head, as you can see. All right, what's next? I think this giant Giganotosaurus figure is the next biggest figure. And this Giganotosaurus has two main action buttons. The first swivels its entire torso back and forth, complete with sound effects, and the second button underneath its tail opens and closes its jaw. You know, I think this Giganotosaurus is actually bigger than this T-Rex right here. So let's have them switch places. Next up, let's see. I think it's this T-Rex that is the next largest. I believe this is a Camp Cretaceous Tyrannosaurus Rex and is one of my favorite because of how you can move its neck and its head around to look super lifelike. And this one is definitely a little bit smaller than the Dominion T-Rex. So I think they'll go side by side. Here we've got a big Spinosaurus figure, and in real life, the Spinosaurus is actually the largest carnivore, but in terms of the figure, it's actually a bit smaller than some of these other figures right here. And this figure is actually the Legacy Collection Spinosaurus, so this one's actually pretty hard to find nowadays. And although the spine is a little bit taller than that T-Rex, they're generally around the same size, so we're just gonna put this Spinosaurus right here. Right over here, we've still got another T-Rex figure. This is a Legacy Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it is one of the few T-Rexes that I have that is in this really cool camo green color. This one is definitely a little bit smaller than this Spinosaurus right there. Now we're getting down to a little bit smaller figures. I think the next biggest size is the Therizinosaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. This figure has some huge claws and I think this dinosaur might have the biggest claws out of any dinosaur that I've seen. But interestingly, it is a herbivore dinosaur. And we're gonna set it down right next to the Legacy Collection, T-Rex. The next biggest dinosaur in this collection is the Scorpios Rex, which I'm sure you recognize from Camp Cretaceous season three. This figure has two action buttons. The first is for its jaws and sound effects. And the second is the claw slashing action. It's really cool and a little bit smaller than the Therizinosaurus figure. I'm gonna put it down right beside it. Actually, now that they're side by side, I think the Scorpius Rex is a little bigger. So let's have them swap places. All right, next biggest is probably this Carnotaurus figure. I think this is an older Carnotaurus. Might be from the Fallen Kingdom collection. It has a jaw snapping action right on its back. Let's put this right next to the Therizinosaurus. Next up in terms of the tallest dinosaur, I think is probably this Albertosaurus figure. I actually have a battle damage edition of the Albertosaurus, but this one is just the normal one and you can use its tail to twist its neck around and open and close its jaw. Since we're running out of room on the edge of the table over there, we're gonna start a new row right up front here. 
Next up is the Pyroraptor figure. This is the basic Pyroraptor from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the same awesome coloring, but pretty limited in terms of its movement. Here we've got another Scorpios Rex figure from the Camp Cretaceous collection. This one is actually a lighter green than the other Scorpios Rex. You can see that that one's like mostly black, but this one's got a lighter green on the sides. This figure is a bit smaller than the other Scorpios Rex. And now this Scorpius Rex actually looks a bit bigger than this Pyroraptor figure, so we're gonna have them switch places. Next up is another Giganotosaurus figure. This is the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus. As I'm sure you can hear right now, it is a whole lot smaller than this Giganotosaurus figure right here, and a little bit smaller than this Pyroraptor figure. Put them right beside each other. Let's see now, next up, let's go with this Stegosaurus. This is a Jurassic World Dominion Stegosaurus, and I am loving the new color design on this. And with those huge spines on the top, it's a little bit taller than these other dinosaurs, but in terms of size, I'd say it's pretty close. So we're gonna put it right there for now. Right over here, next up in size, is the Ichthyovenator dinosaur from Jurassic World. This is a super bright dinosaur, and we're gonna set it down right next to the Stegosaurus figure. Here is a classic Baryonyx figure with the button on its back to activate its jaw. So why don't we put this dinosaur down as the next in line of the biggest. Over here, we've got the Hammond Collection Triceratops, and this also is quite a new figure that I bought recently. I am loving the texture and design of this, although the coloring is a bit plain, I would say. Let's put this down right next to the Baryonyx figure. For the next up in size, why don't we go with this new Jurassic World Dominion Triceratops figure. Let's open it up. So this figure has a lot of the classic camo green coloring and it's got some clay red brown coloring along the top. So let's set this down right next to the Hammond Collection Triceratops. <laughs> For the next up in size, let's go with this new one that I just bought, the Jurassic World Dino Trackers Coronosaurus figure. Let's get this opened up. All right, here is the new figure. It's obviously an aquatic dinosaur. I think this one came out very recently. And it has a button on its back so you can twist its head back and forth and even open and close its mouth too. Let's set this down right next to the Triceratops. Just a few left. Next up in size is this Ankylosaurus figure with the clay red and brown coloring and tons of spikes on its body. Plus, when you press down on its back, it swings its tail back and forth. This figure right here is an extreme battle damage Velociraptor. You can actually turn the battle damage on and off just with the click of a button. I've also got an extreme battle damage Pyroraptor figure with the same feature on its side. You can click the damage on and off. And let's set that down right next to the Raptor figure. All right, here are our last three. This is an extreme battle damage Dimetrodon figure with that same click action battle damage on both sides. This is also a super bright dinosaur. And we're actually going to set this down right in front of them in the very front row. And here is what might be the smallest Therizinosaurus figure by Jurassic World that they've made. I'm actually not sure, but this figure is teeny tiny. Let's put this right next to the Dimetrodon. And last of all, we've got the Jurassic World Dominion Wow Pods Dilophosaurus figure. Let's get this opened up and let's check it out. Here it is out of the box. So you can see the whole Dilophosaurus face and the frills, and it's actually battery operated. So there's a motion sensor up here that'll turn on these lights. And it might be a bit too bright in here to actually see it, but it kind of changes the color of the Dilophosaurus. And the cool thing about these is that when you get more of these wow pods, you can actually stack them on top of each other and arrange your own way to display them. So we're gonna set this down right in the corner next to the Therizinosaurus figure.
today I'm showing you all of my T-Rex figures from biggest to smallest, so let's jump in. My first biggest T-Rex is this super colossal T-Rex from Jurassic World. This T-Rex has a bright orange body with a darker brown top. And just like all my super colossal figures, it can swallow miniature dinosaurs down its throat to the stomach compartment that you can open it up. My next biggest T-Rex is this super colossal Jurassic Park T-Rex. This is actually from Jurassic World Dominion. It has a much darker body. It's got black on top brown on the sides and a lighter underbelly. It's got a huge jaw and this figure can also swallow miniature dinosaurs and open them up in the stomach compartment. Next up, we've got a Jurassic Park T-Rex. I believe this T-Rex was called the Bull T-Rex. And this figure too can swallow miniature dinosaurs and other small stuff and you can empty it out in the stomach compartment. Right on top here, we've got the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure has some of the coolest coloring out of all the T-Rexes that I have. And it is remarkably adjustable too. You can bend the legs in all different directions, at the knees, at the ankles. You can bend the arms, you can twist the neck, and you can open the mouth, of course. Next, I've got this huge Jurassic World T-Rex with this ginormous head. This figure has the black top and brown sides, just like the super colossal T-Rex from Jurassic World Dominion. And this T-Rex can be controlled by moving the tail around. Back here, we've got, I believe what is called the Terran T-Rex or something like that. The special feature on this T-Rex is the tearing action with its mouth. It swings its head around and closes it at the same time. And it's got a secondary action button to swing the tail around too. This T-Rex, also from Jurassic World, is a stomping T-Rex. When you twist the tail, it stomps its legs up and down. And it has those cool sound effects too. Plus, as you notice with the cage, it actually breaks free from the cage just by pressing the button on its back. That is pretty cool. Here we've got another Jurassic Park T-Rex. So this is a very old figure. It's got the rubber body. And with this T-Rex figure, you can move the tail to swing the head back and forth. So it's not as advanced as the new Jurassic World T-Rexes, but it's still pretty cool. We've got tons more T-Rexes to go. Let's keep digging. This huge T-Rex with similar coloring as the first super colossal T-Rex that we saw has some pretty cool functions. When you swing the tail, it swings its head back and forth, and it has a roar function when you move the tail, and a chomping action all just by moving the tail. That is pretty cool. Over here, we've got a darker gray colored T-Rex with some brown on the top. This is also by Jurassic World. And you can twist the neck around, you can open the jaw, there's a button on top, activate the chomping, and you can swivel the tail around and move the legs as well. I think this one's bigger than the rest of them. This T-Rex has one of my favorite functions. It's actually battery operated, so that when you press the button on its tail, it opens its mouth and shakes. It actually has a motor in it to do that, which is pretty cool. Plus, you can move the tail around to swing its neck around to look. That's really cool. This T-Rex was custom colored a long time ago. It's got the bright green on the side, and it's got like camo colors and black all over the rest of its body with the lighter underbelly. And just like that bright orange T-Rex we saw just a second ago, you can control chomping and roaring with this figure just by moving the tail around. Next up, we've got a light brown T-Rex from Jurassic World. This is very similar in function to the darker gray figure that we just saw. It has the chomping button on the top of its head. You can move its neck around and you can adjust the rest of its body parts too. This is the extreme battle damage T-Rex from Jurassic World. It's got some different patterning along the top of its body compared to the rest of them. But the most important part is the battle damage on both sides that you can press this button up top to turn it on and off. Plus, the rest of the figure is very adjustable as well. Here's another T-Rex with some battle damage on it. It doesn't have the extreme battle damage on the side that you can turn on and off, but it does have these slashes all over its body, even its legs and its tail too. The rest of the figure is very adjustable, and of course, the button at the top of the head for chomping. 
Next up, we've got another custom colored T-Rex. This one is a super bright red color. It looks kind of like fire in my opinion. And it's got the black on the top and the orange striping right along the sides. And this figure is adjustable just like many of the other figures that I've shown so far too. Next up, we've got another bright orange T-Rex with the brown top. This figure is fully adjustable throughout its body and it's got the chomp button at the top of its head. Here's one of my favorite T-Rexes. This is a dark green color, and I'm not sure that I have any other green colored T-Rexes in my collection, so this one's pretty special to me. It's also got the black detailing along the top, and its body is fully adjustable with the legs, tail, arms, and neck, and there's the button at the top of its head for chomping. Let's keep going, we still got quite a few T-Rexes to go. This T-Rex is from the old Jurassic World toy line. It's got a rubberized neck, so it's a bit flexible there, as well as the rubberized tail. And it has a chomping action with the tail. Now we're getting down to some slightly smaller T-Rex figures. This is a Jurassic World T-Rex, and it is actually a hybrid. It's got some spikes on the top of its head that you can push down and activate them by pressing the button on the back. Here is another custom colored T-Rex from the old Jurassic World toy line. It is bright red in color with black spots all over and the yellow underbelly. And it also has a chomping action on its back. Here's another similar T-Rex from the old Jurassic World toy line. This T-Rex is light tan in color all over its body. It's a little bit lighter on its belly. And just like the other two that we just saw, it has the chomping action button on its back. All right, this next T-Rex is a little bit smaller. This is a Jurassic Park T-Rex. I believe it's a juvenile T-Rex and it's actually got some battle damage right on the side. Next up, we've got a new Jurassic World Dominion figure. This, I believe, is the Sound Surge T-Rex. It's pretty small in size and you have to open and close its jaw manually, but it does come with some awesome sound effects. we've got some model T-Rexes in here. I'm not sure what brand this is from, and you can't move any of the limbs or the jaw on this figure, but it's got the dark brown coloring. It's got some interesting shading and black stripes all over its body. Here is another dark brown model T-Rex, but on this one, you can open and close its jaw. It's also got the black stripes and the lighter underbelly too. Check out that little bit of yellow right there on its nose. It's interesting. Here is a dark green model T-Rex. This one, you cannot move any of its body parts. So it is standing in this awesome roaring pose, just like I'm sure you've seen in the movies. Here is a bright orange or red model T-Rex. With this figure, you can open and close the jaw. Check out all those little teeth. And this figure looks quite a bit more muscular than a lot of the T-Rexes, I will say. Here is a super bright model T-Rex. It's got the bright blue along the top of its body, as well as the gold stripes. It's got a gray underbelly and some teal coloring right along its face. <laughs> Here is a darker model T-Rex. I love the attention to detail with the skin. It's like you can see all these little bumps all over its body. It's got the black stripes as well. And on this model, you can open and close its mouth. Here is a super striped T-Rex. This has some really bold black stripes right along the top of its body, while the rest of its body is this soft tan or orange color. And it's got some super bright yellow eyes too. And unfortunately, you cannot move any of the body parts on this model. Next up, we've got a light green colored T-Rex with some darker shading and detailing along its body. You can see those bumps right along its spine. And this figure does not have any moving parts either. So it is stuck in this roaring pose. We've got some even smaller T-Rexes in here. Here is a Jurassic World T-Rex that is pretty small. It's probably seven inches from tail to the nose and it fits easily in my hand. It's got some battle damage on the side and the tail controls the jaw and face. 
We've actually got a few more Jurassic World T-Rexes just like that last one. This first one is actually a hybrid T-Rex. It is a hybrid with a Dilophosaurus, as you can tell by these huge frills on the front. It's still got the battle damage on the side, and it's got this reflective gold along the top of its body and the very front, too. And this T-Rex has a bright green body. It's got the battle damage on the side still, and some darker detailing right along its face. This T-Rex figure is from Jurassic Park, so this is a super old figure. It's got some interesting purple detailing along the top. It's got a tan body, and actually, this figure has a unique feature on the leg. You can actually bend it like that, because it is a broken leg for this T-Rex. Right over here, we've got another juvenile T-Rex. This one has a bandage on its leg and the restraint on its mouth, so it can't bite people. It is super bright green with some cool detailing along the back and is very adjustable with all of its limbs too. This baby T-Rex is also from Jurassic World. It is bright green or yellow in color with some detailing along the top. And when you pull down on the tail, it chomps its jaws shut. All right, we've got some super small T-Rexes in here. I believe this one is from Jurassic World. I'm not sure actually but they are both brown in color. This one is very adjustable. You can even move the tail around, you can move the legs and open and close the jaw. But this figure doesn't have any moving parts actually. And our last two T-Rexes of this collection from biggest to smallest. We've got a bright blue T-Rex with black stripes and no movable body parts. And this T-Rex here you can move the legs, you can twist the tail around and you can open and close the jaw too. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a ton of Predator dinosaur figures from the Camp Cretaceous collection. And I've even got some huge brand new ones to open up today. Let's go ahead and start with these brand new ones. Let's start with the biggest one at the bottom here. This is the super colossal Indominus Rex. Let's open it up. This thing is already huge. Let's get those legs and tail on. Here is the fully assembled super colossal Indominus Rex. So first off, it has the typical coloring that uh, the smaller Indominus Rexes have. But when you open up the mouth, you can see that there's a tunnel that goes all the way down into the stomach compartment right here. So you can actually feed this Indominus Rex miniature dinosaurs and then empty it out through the stomach right here. That is super cool. Plus, even though this thing is huge, it still is fully adjustable. Of course, you can adjust the jaw. You can also twist the neck. You can adjust the arms up and down. You can move the legs and ankles. And of course, you can move the tail. All in all, I'd say this dinosaur is probably around two feet tall and maybe three feet long. We've still got two brand new dinosaurs to open up. Let's start with the Albertosaurus. All right, so this is a medium sized dinosaur. As you can see, it is a mostly green dinosaur, but it has those red striping on its side from the head all the way to its stomach on both sides. And there's an action button on the tail. If you press the button, it chomps the jaw. Plus, if you twist the tail, it moves its head back and forth like that. I have a few other Albertosauruses. Some of them even have battle damage on the side. This one does not, so this is just the normal primal attack Albertosaurus. Next up, we've got a feeding frenzy Indominus Rex. Let's open it up. All right, here is the Feeding Frenzy Indominus Rex. Let's check it out. So it has the same coloring as the huge one that we just saw. And it has this huge face and jaw too. This dinosaur comes with tons of sound effects and it comes with this piece of meat. Let's see what happens when you feed it. So it's making some growling noises 
And when it hits the trigger in there, its eyes start glowing too. That is pretty cool. And I love how big the teeth are on this dinosaur as well. Just look at that. Those are so huge. Right up top here, we've got another Indominus Rex. This one is still huge, not quite as huge as the super colossal one that we just opened up. And as you can see, it's colored kind of the same. It has some dark gray on the top and a lighter gray on the sides. It's got those orange eyes. And this dinosaur has two action buttons on it. First, you've got the tail button that activates the jaw. And then you've got a button on its back that activates the slashing action. All in all, this is a really cool Indominus Rex figure. <laughs> Up next, we've got a giant Spinosaurus with dark green coloring on the sides. And on its spine, there's red, white, and a little bit of green at the bottom. Plus, this Spinosaurus is fully adjustable with the neck, the arms, the legs, and the tail. And of course, you can press the button on the top of its head to open its jaw. This is a super awesome figure and huge. Right up here, we've got a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but I believe that this one was custom colored. So you won't really see coloring like this on other T-Rexes that you can get. But look how cool it is. It's bright red, black on the top, and then the orange on the sides. It almost looks like the T-Rex is on fire. That is so awesome. Back here, we've got another T-Rex. This one is normal color. It's got brown on the sides, a darker brown on the top, and the tan belly. Plus, this dinosaur has a few action buttons as well. You can move the tail, and it moves its head around, which I really like, it's super realistic. And there's even a button on the tail that you can press to open its jaw. Back here, we've got another T-Rex, but this one is battle damage. Look at that, right on the side. And pressing the button, you can turn it on and off. That is super awesome. And this T-Rex is fully adjustable with the legs, tail, neck, and the jaw as well. Back here, we've actually got another battle damage T-Rex, but this one is a bit different than the other one. Instead of having the thing on its side right here, you can see that there's a bunch of slashes all over its body, on the tail, on its legs, on its belly, and even on its face. And just like the other T-Rexes, this is fully adjustable. You can move the tail, the legs, the arms, the neck, and this one has a button at the top to make it roar. Here is another giant Spinosaurus with different coloring than the last one we saw. This one is mostly brown with the red detailing. You can see along its face, it's got that bright red coloring as well as along its spine. And even on the top, you can see that there's a lighter tan and then a dark brown color right along the top. That is super cool. Fully adjustable and it has the button on the head that you can use to open its jaw. Up next, we've got the mighty Carcharodontosaurus. This dinosaur is a mostly tan yellow coloring, but you can see that there's orange and brown striping all the way up to its head. And this dinosaur has an action button as well. With the button on its back, you can do the chomping action. Here is the Tarbosaurus. This dinosaur has totally different coloring. It is a dark gray color with black stripes all along its body. It's got those spikes all along its spine and right on its chin and on its neck is a bright red color. This dinosaur is fully adjustable with its arms, legs, tail. The tail actually controls the head and the button on the tail controls the jaw as well. Here's another fierce predator. This is an Allosaurus. It's a dark green color with red and white speckles on its neck and face. And it is fully adjustable and it's got this slide action. That is super awesome. Right over here, we've got the great Metriocanthosaurus. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a yellow green color on the sides. It's got the green coloring on top with the action button that controls its jaw. And it is fully adjustable in the legs and arms as well. 
right over here, we've actually got a few Baryonyxes with totally different coloring. This first one, gray coloring with blue and a bright blue on the top, and it has a slide action for its roars. This second Baryonyx is brown colored, and it has blue detailing on the top and a bright orange top of the head. And the action button on this dinosaur activates the jaw. All right, here's another massive predator. This is a Carnotaurus. This dinosaur can be controlled by its tail. When you move its tail, it moves its head around. There's also a button on the tail to activate the jaw. And I love the coloring on this. This is like a dark brown red color with speckles of like a gray color as well. So it's quite detailed and fully adjustable as usual too. Right over here, we've got a super longed nose dinosaur. This is the Sarcosagus. This is a clay red color on the top. Look at all those spikes along the top of its body. And along the bottom is a dark green color. But I love the detail of all those spikes along its back. That really gives it a strong texture. That's really cool. And the tail, of course, controls the head so you can move the head around. Right back here, we've got a winged dinosaur. I'm sure you recognize this from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is the Quetzalcoatlus, and it has two action buttons. The first on the top flaps its wings, and there's actually one on the bottom that controls the mouth. Oh, here's a dinosaur you don't see too much of. This is a Ceratosaurus. This dinosaur is gray with splotches of dark brown and of course the red back and the super bright red face with the white horn on the very top. This dinosaur has an action button on its back that controls its jaw and the rest of its body is fully adjustable. Right back here is another Sarcosagus, but this one has totally different coloring. It's got the blue bottom, the dark purple top, same spines though, and then it's got orange and red splotches all over its back. That is super cool. Here is another unusual predator. This is the Majungasaurus. This dinosaur is pretty brightly colored. Although it's mostly green in the back, it has those bright yellow coloring right along its back and that bright blue color right on its neck and on its head. And this figure has quite a lot of sound effects as you can hear. The tail also moves the head around so you can make it look super realistic. All right, this is another super noisy dinosaur. This is the Cryolophosaurus. This figure is dark blue around most of its body and it's got the orange head and neck as well. I love that accent. And with this tail, you can adjust the head and wiggle it around. How cool is that? Right here is a full-sized Allosaurus. I love the coloring on this dinosaur. It's got the tan yellow bottom and the bright blue top. That is so cool. I think we've actually got two Allosauruses here, both with different coloring. So let's check this one out first. This one has two action buttons on the top. The first controls its jaw and the second button controls its arms. How cool is that? The legs are fully adjustable and the tail you can twist as well. The second Allosaurus is mostly gray with the yellow splotches all along the top of its body. And this has one action button on its back where you press it and it controls the jaw. Right over here, we've got a brightly colored Suchomimus. This is a bright yellow with brown along its spine and this dinosaur has a few action buttons. The first controls its neck and jaw, and the second controls its tail. Plus, the rest of the figure is fully adjustable as well. Oh, here's actually a second Suchomimus with totally different coloring. This one is mostly blue along the entire body, but it's got the yellow detailing along its spine as well as those splotches. And this Suchomimus has one action on its back. When you press it down, it does a chomping action. 
All right, here's another Baryonyx with different coloring. This Baryonyx is light brown on the sides and the belly, and on the top has a dark blue coloring all along its back to the tail and to the head. But the coolest part of the coloring is this super reflective blue coloring right on its head. This Baryonyx is fully adjustable and it has one action button for its jaw. Here is another Cryolophosaurus. This one is differently colored than the last one that we saw. It's mostly yellow with the brown on the top and of course the bright orange crown on its head. This dinosaur is fully adjustable. You can move the tail to adjust the head. And of course, as you can hear, it comes with tons of sound effects. Here is another Metriacanthosaurus. But once again, different coloring than the last one we saw. This one is a bright red color with brown detailing all along its back. And on the head, you can see that it's got that bright orange and yellow coloring. There is one action button on this dinosaur and that controls the jaw. Up next, we've got another Carcharodontosaurus. Check out the coloring on this one. This is a bright blue coloring and it's got the brown and orange specks on its back and neck and right around its eye as well. This dinosaur is fully adjustable with legs, arms, and tail. And there's one action button on its back that when you press, it does a chomping action. All right, we've got another Baryonyx right here. This one is bright green with brown on the top. And as usual, the arms and legs are fully adjustable and there is one action button on the top that controls its jaw. All right, check this one out. I remember this from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is a Dimetrodon. And look at that huge spine on its back. It's red with yellow speckles all over it. And with this dinosaur figure, when you wiggle the tail back and forth, it opens and closes its jaw. All right, I see a ton of Velociraptors in here. Let's pull a few out. This Velociraptor, is a green color with a darker green along the top and is fully adjustable. Even with the mouth, you can open and close. The second Velociraptor is different coloring. This is a blue along most of its body. It's got the tan bottom, but the coolest part of all, it's got the yellow along the top and a shining gold along its head. It's actually reflective, which is super cool. And this Velociraptor is mostly tan. You can see it along the bottom and the sides with the brown top. But most importantly, this Velociraptor has a slashing action. It is spring-loaded, so you can actually twist its torso back and forth, and it'll do this slashing action. All right, right over here, we've got a baby T-Rex with a jaw-chomping action, brightly green-colored and fully adjustable. And this is a Dilophosaurus. It is mostly gray-colored with darker gray along the top, but this Dilophosaurus actually has an action. When you move the tail, it activates its frills. That's so cool. We've still got more Velociraptors in here. Let's check them out. Here are four Velociraptors. The first is an orangish Velociraptor, and it has the slashing action. The next Velociraptor is a bright red color with green striping on the top. Look at how bright this Velociraptor is, and it is fully adjustable. The next Velociraptor is a classic one. This is blue, and it comes with battle damage on the side as well. And this Velociraptor is more of a yellow coloring with brown on the top. This one also comes with battle damage on the side as well. All right, just a few dinosaurs left. This is a Herrerasaurus. It is all green and it has different shades of green all along its body. And it is fully adjustable with the mouth, the neck, the arms, and the legs. Over here, we've got a weird looking dinosaur. This is the Shringosaurus. Look at those huge horns on its head and the brown coloring on the top and the yellow on the sides. This is quite the odd looking dinosaur. At least I think so. And our last two dinosaurs of this collection. First, we've got the great Dimorphodon. 
This is mostly a gray color with a dark red along the bottom of its wings, but it's still fully adjustable with its legs, its mouth, its neck, and its wings. And this Velociraptor is a dark gray color with yellow detailing right along the top of it and is fully adjustable as well.
Welcome everyone back to my dinosaur channel. Recently I just bought a bunch of new dinosaur figurines so today we're gonna be unboxing all of them. Let's get started. First up is this Tyrannosaurus Rex escape pack. Let's go ahead and open it up. And you attach the tail to the body just by clicking it in I think. 
There we go. That was actually really easy. That was easier than I expected. So let's check out this T-Rex. It's got the moving tail, obviously. It's got adjustable legs, adjustable arms. And for the head, we've got this button on the top. That'll open its mouth. Look at that, it's got the tongue, all those teeth right there. This is a pretty cool T-Rex. Next, let's check out the car that came in the pack. So let's go ahead and get this car out. These little twisty things on the bottom. I just love this coloring. Look at the yellow and it fades into the green and the red. That is the classic Jurassic Park look. All the doors open, front and back, so you can fit some of your favorite action figures in here. This is super neat. This might be one of my favorite dinosaur cars that I have in my collection. Let's check out the human that came in this set. So we can see it's a little child there, and then it also comes with the night vision goggles. All right, let's go ahead and get those night vision goggles on the kid. All right, check it out. Let's go ahead and get him seated in the car right here in the front seat. And along comes the T-Rex. So just like in the movie, you can press down on the glass on the top here and try to break in and eat the person that's inside. This is really cool. And I really like that they released a classic looking car like this too. Next up, we've got this huge Apatosaurus figurine. Look how big this figurine is once you put it together. And this is from the new Jurassic World Legacy Collection. And as you can see, we've already opened up the box and taken it out. So let me show you the fully built figure. Bam, here we go. Look at the size of this thing. This is huge. Its mouth opens and closes. Look at that detail. Even its teeth are painted properly. That looks really good. The head swivels and moves. And you can see right here, that the neck moves side to side. The legs are fully functional as well. And finally, the tail too. All in all, this dinosaur is huge. It's probably from tail to the head, it might be three or four feet long. Well, I guess the box said 41 inches. So there you have it right there. That's how big it is. But this one is huge. I really like this one. Oh, here's one of my favorite ocean predators right here. This is the Mosasaurus. Let's go ahead and open this up and check it out fully put together. All right, so we've got the main body right here. The mouth already attached. Here's the tail. Let's go ahead and attach the tail and it just clicks right in. And then in the box also comes the four fins. Let's click this first one in, and the second one, third right here, and the fourth one. Here is the great Mosasaurus. This one is super long too. Maybe three feet long, two or three feet long. It's got all the individual teeth on the front. It probably fit some dinosaurs in its mouth too. And the movable fins and the tail as well. And we do have some other Mosasaurus figurines in my collection, but I do notice that this one that I just bought, it's like a darker color blue or like a purple than the other Mosasauruses that I have. So I am super excited to add this one to my dinosaur collection. Let's move on. The next one we're looking at is the Pentaceratops from the Jurassic World Dino Escape series. And this is part of the Mega Destroyers. So we'll take the dinosaur out. And over here is the cage for to trap the dinosaur's head. Now we're going to take the face cage thing and we're going to put it on the Pentasaurus. All right, got it on now. So you can see that the Pentasaurus is trapped inside the cage. It can't really attack anyone or really move around that easily. But like we saw in the box, this has a breakout function. So see these two buttons on the back right here? 
the front one is gonna make it shake and break free. Let's check it out, ready? Three, two, one, go! Wow, that was awesome. It broke free so easily. And the second button here, let's see what that does. Oh, so it twists from side to side when you press that button. And look at the size of the bony frill on this Pentasaurus. That is much larger than you'd see on a Triceratops. And of course, it's got the horns up front here and on top as well. This is a ferocious looking dinosaur. You wouldn't want to mess with this one in the wild. Next up, we've got this multi-pack right here. Let me take off the plastic. This is the Ultimate Baryonyx Breakout Battle Damage Edition. Let's open it up and check it out. First, let's check out the Baryonyx. So we've got the body right here and the tail's right up here. Let's grab that as well. Okay, let's put the tail on the dinosaur. Clicks right in. Let's see, so this figure has one action button on it, a button right here, and it looks like that one opens and shuts the mouth. And there are no batteries required for this one, so it has no sound effects or anything like that. You can see that it's got that battle damage right there on its neck, and even a little bit on its leg as well. And in the rest of the pack, you can see we've got Owen and his motorcycle right there. And look at all these accessories. He's got a helmet, he's got body armor. Is that a, I think that's a radio pack of some sort maybe. And he's got some weapons right there. And let's, let's take a look at the figure itself. So it's a fully adjustable body. You can see that its legs can bend, its arms can bend, even at the elbows as well. His face can swivel and on the motorcycle, the wheels spin, and it's even got a kickstand that you can put up and down. Look how tiny it is. This is a pretty cool pack. It comes with quite a few different pieces. So you have your own little uh, dinosaur setup right here. So yeah, this one is pretty cool. I would recommend checking out this pack. All right, let's keep unboxing these new dinosaurs. Next up, we've got the Carcharodontosaurus also from the Jurassic World Dino Escape toy line. This is also a Mega Destroyer. All right, so before we put on the cage, let's check it out. Look at the coloring on this. So it's mostly blue, and then it's got the orange on the top, but it's like speckled with that brown. And then it's got that one line of spikes along its back. Let's check out the action button right here. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be able to break free from the cage we've got. Let's go ahead and put this on the dinosaur. Wow, that was pretty easy. All right, here we go. It's gonna break free from the cage. You ready? Three, two, one, go! Break free, come on, you can do it. All right, and there you go. This is a very neat dinosaur. Let's move on to our next one. All right, look at how many we still have in here. There's, there's still tons more to go. Let's check out this Kentrosaurus next. Let's go ahead and put on those spikes on its sides. All right, so we've got the spikes out of the packaging. Look at the size of these spikes. So these spikes are gonna go right into the side right here. And it clicks right in there. Wow, look at that. And on the other side. And finally, the tail and it clicks right into the back. And there we go. Check out the spikes all over its body. Look at these shoulder spikes, like I was saying. Those are probably used for defense, as well as the spikes on its tail. The ginormous spikes, look at that. And we've got an action button up top here. Let's try it out and see what happens. That's pretty cool. So when you press the button, the front swivels side to side, and I bet those spikes will probably hit whoever is standing in the way when it does that. This is pretty neat. I'm liking this one. Let's check out our next dinosaur. Next up, we've got this Tyrannosaurus pack. Let's go ahead 
and open this one up. Sure enough, I'm pretty sure that's a baby Tyrannosaurus. But uh, if you guys know whether it's an adult or a baby, let me know in the comments below. First, let's check out these little dinosaurs. They all look pretty identical. All of them got this green color. Plus, their mouths do open and close as well. Look at that, even how small they are. And here's the T-Rex. And this one is very adjustable. Look at that. Can adjust the ankle, at the knee, the swivel all around. The jaw will open and shut too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is a baby dinosaur. It looks so small and cute, look at that. And it came with what looks like, I don't know if those are bandages or something, but I think we put this on the T-Rex. And this one too. So it looks like this bandage goes on to the leg of the T-Rex right here. It straps on, we just did surgery on it. So you gotta protect that wound. And then this is a muzzle. It goes right on the jaw right there. So now it can't bite anyone. Very cool. All right, let's move on to our next dinosaur. All right, which one should we choose next? Oh, you know what? I was super excited about this one. This isn't a dinosaur, but it's a replica of a Spinosaurus tooth. Look at the size of that. Let's open it up. Wow, look at the size of that tooth. That's like three or four inches long or even longer. And this replica here is very detailed. It's got cracks all over and the painting is like black on the top. This is very cool. This will look great on one of my shelves. All right, let's keep going. Here's another one. This is the Ceratosaurus. There we go. All right, so we've got the body right here and then the tail. It's tucked away inside the box. Let's get that out too. And let's attach the tail to the body. Clicks right in. There we go. All right, here is the Ceratosaurus. We've got this action button on top. Let's try that out. Very interesting. So it's actually a few different buttons in one. So the more you slide it up, the more it opens its mouth. Very cool. And check out the horn right on the nose. This dinosaur is awesome. All right, let's check out our next dinosaur. All right, here we go with our next dinosaur. Let's get it out of the bag. All right, check this out. This looks like a Mosasaurus, and it could be, I'm not entirely sure, but I will say, look at the spikes on the back. Those are some really sharp spikes. I mean, they won't hurt me if I poke, but in real life, those would hurt a lot, I think. Very cool. Let's go with this one right here. Wow, check this one out. This is a Spinosaurus. Check it out, there's that huge spine on its back. Its mouth opens and closes. This one is a little bit smaller than our other Spinosaurus figures, but I will say this one has a bit more detail with the painting. And look at those teeth right there. <coughs> those are some mean teeth. Did you know that Spinosauruses actually did a lot of hunting in the water? I didn't know that before, but I recently found that out. This is very cool. Let's check out our other dinosaurs. I see another cool looking one right here. All right, this is an endoraptor, but it looks a bit different than the other ones that I have because look at this orange coloring on the side. That is unique to this endoraptor. I haven't seen that before. And uh, this one is more like a model because the arms and legs don't move, so it's in this like crawling pose right there. But that is pretty neat. I like this one. All right, and in this bag, oh, look at that. This is an Indominus Rex. And this one is also more like a model figure. The arms and legs don't move, but this one has 
great detail as well. Look at that on its side. Look at the spikes on its back and on its teeth, its tongue. Huge attention to detail, which is really cool. And next up, looks like we've got a three pack of, it says pterodactyls. Let's take a look. So we've got our first one here. And our second pterodactyl. This has different coloring and is a bit bigger. Look at the back too. And the third one. Although this is a very different looking pterodactyl. Do you know if this is a pterodactyl? Why don't you let me know in the comments below. Is this a pterodactyl or is this a different type of flying dinosaur? <coughs> That was super exciting unboxing all these dinosaurs. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe.
Back to the amazing dinosaurs channel everyone today we are unboxing a bunch of jurassic world toys let's go ahead and start with this brand new stegosaurus right here let's check it out all right so this stegosaurus here is mostly green and brown so you know it's going to camouflage well into the jungle so if you look there is a button right here press this down and check out its tail right there that is a massive defense move right there. It can swing its spikes on its tail and hit whatever predator's trying to attack it. And look at that, it came with, looks like it's a cage that wraps around some part of the dinosaur. I bet it's for the tail actually, let's put this on. All right, so we've got it on there most of the way. It's a little tricky to have it stay on. But let's go ahead and try out the action move now. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> All right, check it out. The Stegosaurus is free. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, here we go. One of the coolest dinosaurs ever, the T-Rex. Check it out. So it's got a button in the back that you can control the mouth with and the neck moves as well. This is pretty cool. This is for sure my favorite dinosaurs. And right here, we've got an Indominus Rex. So let's check it out. If you move the arms right here, let's see what that does. Interesting, so the arms control the mouth when it opens and closes. Interestingly, the top of the Indominus Rex right here, if you look really closely, you can see that it's like a rubber instead of a plastic like its body right here. The whole top is made out of rubber. So it kind of actually looks like skin a little bit more. And look at those giant teeth too. This is a really cool dinosaur. Let's go ahead and open up another brand new Jurassic World dinosaur. Let's look. This is the Carnotaurus Toro figure from the Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape series. All right, here we go. Look, it's like a little miniature Carnotaurus. It looks kind of like a baby. It's kind of cute, really. So let's see what kind of actions that this toy has. Let's see, first there's a button up top here. Let's go ahead and press that and see what it does. Aw, so it closes its eyes and it has a little dinosaur sound effect. That's cool. And then the tail as well, you can see when you move the tail, the head moves too. And there's a button on the bottom too. Let's try that out. Wow, that's so cool. This will look so cool with my other dinosaurs. Here is another T-Rex, but this one's a little different from the last T-Rex that we had because this one has a button up top. When you press it, the neck will spin. Look at that. 
That is a massive bite. And there's a second button on this one too. When you press the second button, the tail goes back and forth too. Wow, that's so cool. Which dinosaur is your favorite? Do you like the T-Rex? Or do you like the Indominus Rex more? Let me know in the comments below. Which dinosaur is your favorite? And once again, look at these giant teeth in his mouth. And the neck can move too. The arms move, the legs move. This Indominus Rex is gigantic. That is so cool. So look at this one. This one is a small Indominus Rex, just like that miniature Carnotaurus that we saw just a minute ago. Let's open it up. All right, so look at this one right here. And this isn't like a normal sized Indominus Rex. This is like a, it's kind of like a display dinosaur almost. Look at that. The tail moves, the head moves. Let's see what actions that this toy has. So there's a button right on its nose. Let's press that and see what happens. Oh, so it's sound effects. That's cool. Let's press it again. Plus, this is a feeding frenzy dinosaur. So you see it comes with this piece of meat. Let's see what happens when we feed this Indominus Rex this piece of meat. So we've got the piece of meat here. We've got the Indominus Rex. Let's go ahead and feed this dinosaur. Here we go. Ready? Jump, 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 jump. Oh. Whoops. This sure is one hungry Indominus Rex. This is super cool. I'm gonna put this right next to my miniature Carnotaurus. All right, here we go. Another unopened Jurassic World dinosaur. This one is the Shringosaurus. Let's open it up. All right, here we go. This is the Shringosaurus, and this is a quite a bit different looking. I mean, look at the size of that neck, and it kind of looks, I mean, really, it almost looks like a dog, don't you think? Or like a not dinosaur type of animal. These were herbivores and they grew 10 to 13 feet long. So these things got actually pretty big. And check out those horns on the front too. All right, another Stegosaurus. This one is not green and brown like the last one that we unboxed. This one is actually, it's kind of like a gray color, but I think it has the same action button as the other Stegosaurus that we unboxed too. Let's see if we can find that button. All right, here it is. So you press down this and the tail flips back and forth. Let's see what this could do to another dinosaur. Look at that swinging action right there. And here comes another dinosaur. Wham! Oh, that was such a big hit. Don't mess with the Stegosaurus. Here is another one of the super popular dinosaurs from Jurassic World. This is the Velociraptor. And this one is very adjustable. Look at this, the tail moves and the legs, they have multiple joints on them so you can spin them around in all directions. And its mouth opens and closes too. That is so cool. This is a super poseable dinosaur. Here we have a Jurassic World Dilophosaurus. Check out the, I don't know if those are called wings or fins on the front. I bet those are used to intimidate other dinosaurs. Look at that. When those come out, you'll want to stay away from this dinosaur. One of the stars of the Jurassic World movies, the Endoraptor. These dinosaurs are super fierce, super sneaky, you do not want to get trapped in a building with this dinosaur. Here is another Velociraptor. Check this one out. So the tail goes up and down and you can slash with those claws right there. And it has a button on the side too. All right, another Indominus Rex. But this is like another miniature Indominus Rex. And, oh, do you see that? This one has a battle damage feature. So you can slide it open and closed. So when you're playing with it, it is fully healed right now. And then while you're playing with it, you can hit it, bam. And suddenly it's a wounded dinosaur. 
Here we go, another Dilophosaurus. I think we've got a few in here. So here is a gray one, and it's got a little bit of yellow on the top. Over here, wow, look at the color on this one. You could see this from a mile away. Look at the orange and the yellow. This thing is fierce. And we've got lots more Velociraptors in here. Look at this green one. And we've got good old blue right here. We've got this green Velociraptor here. This is another super adjustable Velociraptor. And look at those green stripes on its back too. That is super cool. And check out these claws on its feet. You can actually adjust them up and down. So Velociraptors can control when they're hidden and when they're ready to attack. Oh, look at this. We've got a special star for this video. It's John Hammond from the Jurassic Park movies. Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you like my dinosaurs. <laughs> check out this super bright Carnotaurus. Look at those golden horns on its head, the golden spikes on its back, and that bright red color all over its body. Let's see what this action button does. All right, this is a chomping Carnotaurus. Let's see how many more Velociraptors we have in here. How many do you think we have? Let's go ahead and count them, here we go. Here's one Velociraptor, it's brown colored. This is the second Velociraptor. This one is yellow with green stripes on the back. Here is our third Velociraptor. This has an action on it too, look at that. Pull the tail, the head moves up and down. Here is Velociraptor number four. This one is green with red stripes. Wow, look at that. I think that you'd be able to see that in the jungle too. So this one may not camouflage that well, which is really interesting. Here is Velociraptor number five. This one is a little bit smaller from the other Velociraptors that we've seen in this video. If you look at this Velociraptor's feet, they're actually spring-loaded. So you can make this Velociraptor jump. Here's Velociraptor number six. I really like the coloring on this one. Look at those orange arms and then it's got the yellow side and the brown on the top. That is super cool. And just like the last Velociraptor, this has spring-loaded legs too. So you can make this one jump up into the air. Check this out. This is a Stegosaurus, I think. When you pull on the tail, look at how its head moves. It like lunges forwards. Here is another interesting looking Stegosaurus. You can see we've got some battle damage on the side. And just like the last one, when you pull the tail, its neck moves. Oops, you know what? I missed one more Velociraptor earlier. Look at this one. This is a tan Velociraptor with green stripes on the top. Very cool and very ferocious. Check out all these super brightly colored dinosaurs that we have in our Jurassic World collection too. We've got this little green guy. We've got this red dinosaur. I think this is a Spinosaurus. Here is a purple dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur do you think this is? Let me know in the comments below. Here is a smaller blue dinosaur with that red fin on the top. Very cool. Here is another brightly colored dinosaur. This looks like a Spinosaurus too. Look at that huge yellow and orange spine on the top. Here is a Spinosaurus. And check out the action on this toy. When you wiggle it up and down, the head moves. That's super cool. Wow, look at the coloring on this one. This one is mostly blue, but the spine on the top is a bright red color with black stripes. This looks like a Spinosaurus too. 
Wow, look at this one. This one is also super brightly colored too. It's got that bright yellow color and then the bright red on top. Look at this one. This is a Pachycephalosaurus. And what's unique about this dinosaur is that hard shell that it has right on the tip of its head. It's almost like a helmet, really. Only a few dinosaurs left. Look at this. It looks like a little baby dinosaur. It looks kind of like a Stegosaurus, but I'm not sure. Do you know what type of dinosaur this is? Here is a cute little Stegosaurus. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And if you wiggle the tail. Aw, oh, this is so cute. And look at that. The head moves up and down and the tail as well. That is super cute. Here are our final two dinosaurs. We've got a miniature Indominus Rex right here. Very neat. And a little tiny, what is that, a T-Rex? What do you think that looks like? That is a massive jaw. Look at the size of those teeth. It's got a huge head and a little body. Thanks for joining me today and checking out all these awesome Jurassic World toys. I'll see you next time. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.